Let's go. All right, so integration after long division. So look for all the patterns that we looked for before, right? Ask ourselves, is it possible that this is the function, this is its derivative? Ask ourselves, can this top piece be, to be partitioned out here? Can this piece at the bottom be simplified in any way? Finally, after all that stuff, start thinking about, well, maybe this is long division. So I'm going to use polynomial division here. So I'm going to take our x squared plus 7x minus 3. I'm going to divide it by our x minus 2, x minus 2. The reason I'm <clears throat> putting this x out in green here is because I want to remind you that we're supposed to follow this front term here, right? So what does this divide out to? 2x squared divided by x is, is yeah, 2x here. <clears throat> Please remember to distribute here and here, right? And 2x times x is 2x squared, isn't it? 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Remember, this is the same rules of division that you used in fifth grade. So we're going to, right, divide, multiply, subtract. So we're going to subtract. Remember that we're going to subtract like this because we have to subtract everything in here. So it's going to just change the signs here. This was a positive. Now it's a negative. We're going to distribute this to here. That makes this a positive, doesn't it? And then remember at the end to get rid of this. <clears throat> this comes out to what? 11x, fifth grade division, bring down next, right? So there's that negative 3 here. Now we have 11x divided by x is, is 11, isn't it? So positive 11. Same thing you did before, distribute completely. So you're going to multiply this 11 times the x, and then the 11 times the 2. And you're going to get, this is, Negative 4x. Does this look right? No, it doesn't look right at all. Thanks. 11x minus 22. Thanks for checking my math. How's that work? Can you see that at all? Not really, can you? I'll switch colors. So here's the negative sign. Can you see that? It just got worse, didn't it? <laughs> Help. It's making what you know. So here's the negative sign. I'm going to distribute it. it. makes this a negative and this a positive, doesn't it? Get rid of that. Subtract gives us 19. Remember, we talked about the problem earlier. 15 divided by 2 is just an, exa just an example of what we do with remainders. It's 7. This comes 14. You get remainder 1, right? But the remainder is, you take this 1, you put 1 over this too, don't we? So the same thing is going to happen with this 19. That's why I'm showing you that bit of math right there. So now we can rewrite this integral as the integral of, yeah, 2x plus, plus, thank you, good, 19 over this, right? Over this. So over x minus 2, the whole thing dx. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore a lot of this. I mean, I'll rewrite it, but I'm just going to partition this out, if you don't mind. I'm going to start breaking this up, and I'm going to say the integral of 2x dx, right, plus, right, have, now I'm going to take this piece right here. So I'm dealing with this piece now. And that is 11 dx, isn't it? So far, so good. And then lastly, deal with this piece here. That will give us plus. I'm going to pull this out as a constant multiplier. So 19 times 1 over x minus 2 dx. From here, I think we can integrate everything, can't we? Can you recognize everything that's going on here? So this is going to give us what, Mr. Carl? So we're going to go ahead and integrate. Right? When we integrate, that gives us x squared, right? x squared plus plus 11x plus 19 ln of and plus c. Is that all good? Right? Remember how we got this one right here. When we integrated this, it would have been, here's the 2. It was x to the first. So it becomes x to the second 
this two up here it also ends up down here, doesn't it? So two over two. So that's where this came from. All right. Remember with this one, this is the same as x to the zero power, isn't it? So we just increase that by one to make it x to the first power. And all the rest is good, isn't it? Uh, of course, we went and checked it with our calculator. And we did that by doing this. We typed it in. The way we did that, this is our TI Inspire CAS. Uh, we went to home screen, chose calculator, chose calculus, took the integral. Because this is, if you start stuff, because this is an indefinite integral, we don't need to fill out these ends here, do we? Here, remember, just hit control division, division, and we said it was 2x squared, is that right? x squared plus 7x, is that right? Yeah, I know, it's right there on the screen on top. I'm just that dumb. Yeah. Don't worry. dx. And isn't that the answer we got on the other page? Yes. Yeah, yeah.